So I want to show you how to assemble the cow exercise bike. We're going to uh, get it out of the carton first. Just by putting the, the carton out, you release the staples around the edge, and then we're going to lift off the top of the carton. So on the styrofoam, it indicates which face to lay down. So we'll just discuss the parts. So here's the, the console, power supply and power lead. And that just lifts off. And then you've got all your tools here and the instructions. Saddle and the two stabilizers and your, your pedals. So I'm going to take this piece off now. So these are the tool cards and they provide instructions and the, the uh, order to assemble the bike in. Okay, we'll make a start and the first thing we put the front stabiliser. So I'm just lifting the bike up to give access. Two large bolts with a washer. Get those started and then we'll do the other two. These are the smaller bolts with a washer and a and a head. Do them all finger tight. Then the 17 millimeter spanner. So that's sort of, that's tight enough. Let me tighten these up. And those are good too. That's the front one. Okay, so we'll fit the uh, rear stabiliser now. I'll just put the back of the bike on the styrofoam. And, uh, and now we can fit the four bolts exactly the same as the front. Okay, so I'm now ready to fit the, the pedals. So I'm just going to fit the, the pedal now. This is the right hand pedal into the right hand crank. And it turn, we turn it clockwise. So we're holding the pedal nice and square. Should thread in very easily. Get it started and then use the 15mm spanner. And we'll turn it in. Now final tighten. If we turn it back a little bit. Now if I've got the, the pedal in this sort of sequence here, I can push down now to tighten this up very easily. You see that's, I can put some good, good force on that, and that's nice and tight. Okay, now I'm going to fit the left hand pedal, passing the strap th through the clip. Now this one, this is the left hand pedal, we have to turn it anti-clockwise. So if it's lined up nice and square in that threads in nice and easily. Then again we can use the, the spanner 
anti-clockwise. Tighten it up. And now with a crank arm like this, I can push down nice and firmly, and that's nice and tight. So this looks like a packet, are pedal cleats, and they screw to the bottom of your shoes for SPD shoes. So if you uh, keep those aside for now, that you they would clip into here if you've got the special shoes. So I'm at the stage now to fit the console. And on this particular bike, I need to fit a, a tablet holder on it, an accessory. So I'm using the styrofoam from the bike as protection to protect the front of this um, console. And then here's the accessory kit. So I need to remove these top two screws, and they really are particularly tight. So using the, the uh, T-bar, let's make sure it's fully inserted into the key, the head, and push down firmly, and then unscrew it. That's it, that one's undone nicely. I'll do the same with the other one. Push down firmly, and that's released too. And now these two screws can be removed and discarded because there are two new long screws in the kit. Well, here's the uh, tablet holder accessory. Let's remove that nut. Put it over the ball. Plug it in. Tighten that back up. And this end has got a uh, sticky adhesive. So remove the protective film. Have your screws ready. So one of the new long silver screws with a washer. Insert it. And uh, offer it into position. And get the second screw. Screws are going nicely. That's the accessory fitted. So I'm just going to lift this post up a little bit before we fit the console. So I've got the console under one arm. And my hands are free to insert the two connectors. And I just tuck, tuck the wires in. And now I can fit the bolts. So I'm just fitting the, the four handlebar screws now. I'm doing them all in loosely first, just with finger, my finger, you know, finger tight to get them all started. And now the front two I want to tighten first, nice and firmly. And then I can tighten the side two. Ready to fit the saddle. This is the clamp. I want to make sure the clamp is centered between those two white marks. Now you can see this this on this book this saddle it is. And then we're going to tighten these two nuts evenly. So we fit on the bike. Check its level.
and we tighten these nuts. When it starts to get firm, just make sure it's pointing straight ahead and it's still nice and level. That's good. Sort of uh, plug my power supply in, and I can see that there's a little green light on the front of it. I'll just plug this into the bike now. We could hear the motor in going through initialization. So that's a good sound. So we boot the tablet. There's a power button just on the side here. Press it for a few seconds. Now we should be able to see the carol icon. Definitely starting. So this is the desktop. Three dots in the top corner. I hit the Wi-Fi connection. Here's the list of networks. If you can't see your network there, press scan. Um, you would select your network and then put in the password. And with that done, we would leave here. We come back to the desktop. The carol icon here, sometimes that'll be green and it'll be updating. And you have to wait for it to completely update and come back to this blue color before you can open it. So we'll open it now. The, the software will briefly check if the firmware needs updating and then we're ready to the log we come to the login screen. So now let's pipe type in demo 60 and do a quick test ride. Demo 60 username, password Demo 60, the same. Free write. We hear the brake back off the, the uh, brakes. Uh, electro, just choose some music, one of these, and press start. So now it's going to uh, climb on the bike. Gently pedal it, and I'm going to hold both handlebars, both handlebar electrodes. And now on the left dial, I can see my watts. And in fact, if I slide my finger along here, I can increase the resistance. So that's good, it's working. The power is working, RPM in the middle, and my heart rate on the right. So we're all good. We can check the sound works. That's on the speakers. If we now it's back on the headphones, and the headphone socket is down the side here. So if you have a 3.5 millimeter jack, you can plug it in there and, and test the headphone socket works. That, that's all good. We'll cancel the ride now. End. We'll save it. And then we're just going to log out. All good. Now, the, lastly, switch the, the uh, tablet off, hold the power button, and click power off. Shut down the tablet. All good.